Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft. I appreciate you hanging out upstairs with us. And on today's episode, we have a very exciting firmware update, firmware 4.21.0 by At Games. We're going to talk about it. Add-on X is here. While the intro rolls, grab your flash drives and get them ready, guys. Flash drives? What do you mean flash drives, P-Dubs? What do I mean? Well, take a look. I got my At Games flash drives. Look at this. I got I got 2,000 arcade games on this one. I got I got 900 console games on this one. I got I got 4,000 freaking Coleco and and all these other. I got games. I got games. I got UCEs, P Dubs. I got them. I got them. Well, what am I saying, guys? What if I told you that with this particular firmware update from now on, you're only gonna need one. Right after this. Maybe two. Okay guys, we're back. So here's what we're gonna do here. So I have a flash drive plugged into my computer. This flash drive is formatted XFAT. It's a 64 gigabyte flash drive. You'll notice on the open window, I have a lot of folders open of different systems, keeping everything separated and organized between arcade games, console games, and all that kind of stuff. Now what's really cool is, this is gonna be the easiest update you've ever done in your entire life. Uh, At Games has released what they call an add-on X tool, uh, which once we open it right here, this is what the tool looks like. And all you have to do is run this tool against the root of your thumb drive and it will add and change everything into an add-on X compatible UCE file. So all you do is select the actual drive and then click the build button. And once you do it, it runs. Now, it's a very fast tool. Let's say you only have 100 games. It's gonna be done in less than a minute. Now, taking a look at the number of folders I have here as it runs, it's gonna take about 20 minutes uh, for it to run, which in my opinion, I'll take it, because wait till you see what happens when we get to the end point. But yeah, we're gonna have over 30 gigabytes and around 3,000 games on a flash drive, and all of these games are going to load and run right off the Legends Ultimate instantly within seconds. Okay guys, we're back, and it took about 40 minutes to go through 3,000 games and 30 gigabytes of data. The Out on X tool finished what it did. It does provide you a little completion clock at the very end when it's done. And what's cool is, if you run it against the root drive, it'll work on all of your UCE files, whether you have them in folders, whether you have them just, if they're not in folders, it'll still work. I like keeping everything in folders. And you'll see why too when we get this thing plugged in but it's done it's that simple and we're ready to plug this in okay guys before we plug it into the legends ultimate got to make sure it worked right if you ran the tool correctly on the root you'll see there's an add-on x folder now and if you wanted to poke around inside the add-on x folders you can you'll see that the box and bezel art images have been placed here for all your games that's right guys these images will no longer load and take up space on the RAM on the motherboard, bogging down and slowing down the motherboard. This will now add improved performance overall, especially if you have thousands of games or hundreds of games on a flash drive. Your Atkins Legends Ultimate is going to run so much better. And right there, guys, just make sure you have that add on X folder and you're in a good spot. It's time for the next step. Okay, guys, we are over on our Atkins Legends Ultimate. And what we're going to do now is we are going to plug our flash drive into one of the USB ports. And we're going to record this in real time without any video editing. Keep your eyes on the top right corner. So as I get ready to plug it in, boom, I plugged it in. It starts to read, takes just a couple of seconds, and boom. Now we have a new tile called Add-on X. So now when we scroll down to the add-on X tile, you'll see that we have all of our game systems in the tile, boom, right there with our folders. We had everything nice and separated. And as we go through, every single game that's on our flash drive is available to play. We don't have to worry anymore about overloading 
uh, USB flash drives, overloading the RAM on the motherboard, we're able to now play as many games as we want, add-on games on our system. Now a couple things to note, this will work on the 4.21.0 firmware and above, so you do need to upgrade your firmware. However, a couple caveats there is, if you upgrade the firmware to 4.21.0 and use this tool, although we have access here to thousands of games, uh, taking a look here, uh, some there are a few bugs, uh, can't get Super Nintendo games to launch, all the other systems, all the other games, I can get them to launch, can't get Super Nintendo to launch, as well as um, the ports uh, that uh, that have been community-driven projects uh, to get games like Cave Story and uh, Prince of Persia. Those ports aren't launching, um, as well as uh, the Scrum uh, Scum VM uh, is not launching. Everything else, minus that and Super Nintendo, don't seem to be launching. But that could be fixed in due time. Also, another bug I kind of discovered is sometimes when I'm in a game and I hit menu, quit, and try to quit the game, sometimes I have to do it twice uh, to get fully out of the game and back to the menu. Uh, so just a heads up there. Now, At Games also did reduce the spinner sensitivity. Um, as you can imagine now, we have a lot of uh, games <laughs> to cycle through. Uh, so the spinner sensitivity when trying to change pages was moving too quickly. That spinner sensitivity uh, has been reduced, so now you can flip pages a little bit slower. Now the particular tool, uh, the Add-on X tool uh, to convert your USB drives, that tool will be av made available to the general public once the firmware goes live. Uh, so unfortunately I'm not going to have a link to it in the video description below. Kudos to At Games to have us uh, release the videos early. That way you guys can get pumped up, get excited if you're excited about this update. Um, and that way you'll have access to the tool later on when the firmware goes live. Uh, so keep your eyes on the At Games pages uh, for the announcements when the firmware officially goes live and you're now able to do this uh, on your own and all that kind of stuff. Keep in mind, guys, there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of games to play, as well as there are well over a dozen emulator cores, so it's impossible to test everything uh, prior to firmware release. Uh, but definitely, as you guys are playing with this, as it goes live, definitely let us know your feedback. Make sure you let At Games know your feedback on any known glitches. Again, Super Nintendo doesn't seem to be working, uh, neither do the uh, Scrum VM games or uh, any of the port games uh, that uh, one of our uh, great guys, Wild Coder, has been putting together for the community. Uh, but minus that, everything else seems to be launching, seems to be working. Might be the occasional bad UCE file that doesn't launch. Might just need to be rebuilt. Uh, but let me the guys know what you think of this. Um, again, there's other firm parts of the firmware update. There's new games added to the leaderboard and things like that. I'll probably post a little separate quick video on that stuff. Just wanted to keep this video dedicated more to the add-on X and what you guys can expect. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. I try to respond to as many comments as I possibly can. And thanks as always for supporting the channel and hanging out upstairs with us in P-Dubs Arcade Law.